So in a lot of video games, what you can have is you play a level and you think, okay, I'm, I understand this level now. Even if you keep dying, now I can win because I get it. But with this game, you can't, it doesn't necessarily work like that because each level is randomly generated. Like every, yeah. So where so the like, guards will be. Yeah, so certain bits of it are always the same. So like yeah. the stairs are always in the same place, for instance, mm -hmm. on this level. Um, and there are certain set pieces that are always in the same place. Um, but the majority of it is like filled in with random tiles and random guard placement. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's this whole genre of games that kind of have uh, popularized procedural generation and it's kind of gone more mainstream in the last uh, 10 years, I would say, roughly, right? Maybe less than that. Um, where there are like different kinds of games that are using procedural generation. Uh, no Man's Sky is a big example that you probably have all heard of. Um, he was on Colbert, it was like a big deal, and people didn't like the game. <laughs> uh, but procedural generation is like used as like a, a way of like making a game kind of infinitely replayable and like makes it so that every time you play it, uh, you get a very divergent outcome and like you discover very different things and have a very different experience. That it is like a canvas for like emergent storytelling and all this stuff. And uh, I am not using it for that, really, um, which kind of, I think, has set up expectations greatly for this game. Um, I, but I, I'm kind of glad that I did it this way, and I feel like it's a, a unique flavor. Um, because it really allows for that feeling of like improvisation when you're going through a level. And it kind of it emphasizes that kind of fluid knowledge, you know what I mean? That, yeah. Like, the, 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 you can't, it's not about memorization, it's about like this general uh, moment to moment mm -hmm. finger knowledge. You know be, what I mean? Be, being present, I think, yeah. also being really present. You're, you're, you start in a laboratory, then you move to a high rise, then you move to a jungle, and then a ship. And then it's like, it's, very, it's simplistic in that way, but it's actually so extremely well developed. I was wondering on your end also, because I always think when I play a video game, I think like, okay, this is extremely hard, but also developers don't want to necessarily start a game or make a game that's so easy. Uh, so what was your mindset going to that about, like, okay, maybe... Like difficulty-wise? Yeah, di just difficulty of the actual game, because it gets a lot harder as it goes on, as would most video games, but this yeah. one specifically is very difficult. <laughs> yeah, um, I think some of it is just, like, I like those games, yeah. you know, and, like, I've gone back and forth a lot about how this game, how hard this game should be, and, like, um, what exactly the flavor of the difficulty is, yeah. um, but um, a lot of it is just like I like personally being thrown into the deep end and like trying to figure it out, uh, especially when the type of problem that you're dealing with isn't um, about like learning a bunch of controls and all these systems that you that are not readily apparent, but instead like just uh, learning about like the fundamental uh, rules of the world, mm -hmm. and you have a simple means of approaching it. Um, but yeah, I think also part of it is just that uh, flavor-wise, uh, the game should be hard because it's hard. You're a gorilla, you know. You're like, <laughs> yeah, you have your well, bare that's... hands against a bunch of dudes with guns. Well, that's like, on that note. What's interesting? It felt untrue when I made it too easy. You know?